Well, happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, welcome to the WBUR on uh, Bike Night, and I am your host, Chaplain Doc. I hope that y'all are ready for a great show. We got some fantastic music and a sermon by the Bible Biker. And uh, if y'all are ready, we'll get started. First uh, song comes out of uh, Memphis, Tennessee by Blind Highway. This song is Blind Highway. All right, all right. This is uh, Shining Force New and Only Believe.
Alright, this here is Matthew West doing Broken Girl. This is Heaven Bound by Disciple 13. Enjoy. No matter what 
he's the one I call to when life gets too intense. My Lord's got the answer, seeking you will find. It doesn't matter what you've done, he forgives you every time. I'm heaven bound, heaven bound, cause the Lord won't let you down. I'm heaven bound, I'm heaven bound, cause the Lord won't let you down. y'all get ready a little bit of country coming on here this is mike manuel doing the deals still on the sky the disciples watched their Lord taken away all but suddenly two men appeared with a message from the throne and said just like he left he's coming back again and the deal's still on the deal's still on that contract's still fun Signed in blood by the big man in the sky Boy, and God's not a man that he can lie And so on his word you can rely He's coming back right on time And the deal's still long They said we've heard about his coming 
Since the fathers fell asleep Oh, and since that time All things remain the same Oh, but I remember a night That I was born again Earnest payment was made on a promised land Hey, I shook hands with the big man And the deal's still on The deal's still on That contract's still firm It's been signed in blood By the big man in the sky Oh, and God's not a man that he can lie And so on his word you can rely Oh, he's coming back Right on time He'll be back Right on time Yeah, he's coming back Right on time And the deal's still on Oh, get ready now. We got uh, four in a row, so get ready to be blessed. This is uh, we're gonna start out with Andrew Roll. He's a good donkey, just a closer walk with thee, and Jesus loves me. All by Halo Jordan. Y'all keep it in and keep it loud. It's gonna be nice. Donkey, he's got 
got it made. He's got it made in the shade. He's got it made in the shade. He's got it made in the shade.
Amen, amen. That is Halo Jordan. Much love goes out to your red. A lot of prayers going for you, brother. This is a new uh, CD we just got in uh, from a Crossfire Gospel Band. And this is the uh, first time we played them on air. And this is uh, Slingin' Steel. Mm, let me tell you about it. Oh 
is headed for me. And my feet hit the ground and I hear the sound of a skull. And I go to my knees. And I thank the Lord for riding along. And I thank the Lord for making me strong. And I thank the Lord for saving my soul. I thank the Lord for making me whole while I'm singing still. And I'm swinging steel And I'm swinging steel Oh, and I'm swinging steel Yeah, I said I wanna ride, let me 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 ride for Jesus Yeah, I said I wanna ride <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's throwing down for Jesus right there. All right, I got a two for row coming up. Uh, this is another band that we just got a CD in from, and they're called Chain uh, Breaker. And the first song is called I Wanna Be, and the second one is Buried Alive. Get ready.
I hope you enjoyed hearing that bike crank up there, Chili. <laughs> All right, this is coming up here. This is Center by the Archangels. Get ready to rock and roll. This uh, next song goes out to uh, Katie with the uh, CFJ. This is Master Machine doing Blood of Souls.
what I'm talking about. They're playing tonight. Uh, first, the lead singer, he uh, tore his rotary cuff out a couple days ago, so he's in a lot of pain right now. But uh, still playing the show tonight. Uh, here we go. This is Joanne Buller, a good friend of mine. Go, girl. This is Full Time Angel, her tribute song. A broken heart, empty arms, long days, lonely nights, left too soon, don't know why, heaven is sweeter, but I still cry, guess God needed time
possession takes its place A greater possession is available He stands and reaches out to you He's there anytime you need Him He's a possession they can The Ten Commandments of the Law. They may take prayer out of school. They may say we cannot save the grace. It might offend in the public. Soon they'll take our Bibles from our homes. The church doors, soon they'll be closed. As Christians, our rights they'll take away. Our great possession will live on.
Yeah, you see she's listening But are you really listening? Speak of your desires Can you see what's happening? But why is this all happening? You're so broken by your stolen wings Shameful place for you to be When you finally meet your king Itself, stricken by her screams for help Now you're on your way to hell The time you were a liar Your wicked plan transpires And make her thoughts grow higher Don't let her break the silence Just try to put behind this Mortal sin of violence Show no limit until your life is met its end. And just pray that you won't see one day a mother's tears, a father's rage for the torment you have made. Your soul broken by your stolen wings, shameful place for you to be when you finally meet your king. The show. Break a wretched self Now your judgment's spoken well Let you run your way to hell The world is different And you're replenished Her thoughts are changing And you're just laughing Her prayers are stronger Your life's not longer She's not to blame Shame and now years have passed us. A simple stance, a true romance led to reason. She'll strike you right down to That there was Ed Harris, Meet Your King. This is Jesus is Knocking by the Crossfire Gospel Band.
pain and strife Wondering what it's all about We look for answers here and there Trying to act like we don't care Not quite sure of how we'll ever make it out Well, the answer is clear It's written right there For all the world to see Jesus paid it all Just listen for his call It's a gift he gave to you and me Can't you hear him just to knock, knock, knock it On your heart's door Open up and let it come on in You know it's knock, knock, knock it On your heart's door He can give you peace within Well, make up your mind While you still got the time Don't wait too long Days we have to give him our praise, live our lives to his glory and his might. He's the God of creation. Tell me why you're waiting. You need to go on and get it all right. One day you're gonna look back, remember your past, and say, Why didn't I do all that and more? It's your eternity we're talking. You need to go on, get to walking. Just open up your heart's door. Can't you hear him just to knock, knock, knock it on your heart's door? Open up and let him come on in. You know he's knock, knock, knock it on your heart's door. He can give you peace within. Well, make up your mind while you still got the time. Don't wait too long, my friend. He's away. He's Right to save me, glory bound travelers. I feel your light when I sing you songs of praise. Oh, now, Jesus, I want to thank you for sending me your grace. I am a sinner, and you are perfect, and I love you for loving me. I'm very boring, but you send me soaring when I call out your name. Lord, sometimes I cry, cause I don't know why you came to save me. Your love and mercy is my cure for loneliness, and I just want to praise you for saving me. For saving me Oh now Jesus I need forgiveness Cause try as I may Oh now Jesus I fall short of your glory Every day Though I may waste away I am renewed each day Through be fighting Satan's army till Jesus calls me above. Lord, sometimes I cry cause I don't know why you came to save me. Your love and 
mercy is my cure for loneliness and I just want to praise you for saving me for saving me Here we go. This is And We Prayed by Chainbreaker. Pray. 
Well, all right, this here is Halo Jordan, Come to the Rock. upon it you will see a change after you have known it he will give you life like you've never lived before come to the rock you won't have to get stoned
thanks to the blood of Jesus. From sin's prison I am free. If you're worried about my old past, I can't change the wrong I've done. Oh, but it don't matter, I have learned, and to whom it may concern. Pardon me, I've been pardoned. No, it don't matter, I have learned, and to whom it may concern. Pardon me, I've been pardoned.
All right, all right. These next two songs are going out to the members of um, Baca, Bikers Against Child Abuse, and a special shout out to Penny Kidd. This uh, goes out to you as well. Hope y'all enjoy these. One is Elisa Lies, and the other one is Does Anybody Hear Her? My little girl met a new friend just the other day on the playground at school. Between the tires and the swing But she came home with tear-filled eyes And she said to me, Daddy, Alyssa lies Well, I just brushed it off at first Cause I didn't know how much my little girl had been hurt said you can tell me and she said Melissa lies to the classroom Melissa lies every day at school Melissa lies to the teachers as she tries Cover every bruise My little girl Laid her head down That night to go to sleep As I stepped out the room I heard her say A prayer so soft and sweet God bless my mom And my dad And my new friend Alyssa Oh I know she needs you bad Because Alyssa Every question that she asked Until I felt the tears run down my face And I told her that Alyssa Wouldn't be at school today 
she doesn't like in the classroom. She doesn't like anymore at school. A listen lies with Jesus because there's nothing that anyone would do. So she sets out on another misadventure just to find She's another two years older and she's three more steps behind Does anybody hear her? Can anybody see? Or does anybody even know she's going down today? Under the shadow of our steeple With all the lost and lonely people Searching for the hope that's tucked away in you and me Does anybody hear her? Can anybody see? She is yearning For shelter and affection that she never found at home And she is searching For a hero to ride in To ride in and save the day And in walks her Prince Charming And he knows just what to say Momentary lapse of reason And she gives herself away Steeple, with lofty glances from lofty people, you can't see past a scarlet letter, and we've never even met her. If judgment looms under every steeple, if lofty glances from lofty people, you can't see past a scarlet letter, and we've never even
hundred miles an hour in the wrong direction. Another look around, you're not going anywhere. 
of my hometown Yeah, the devil, he would set me up Just to see me come crashing down Then he'd laugh at me through an evil grin All I could do was frown Oh, but I've been delivered I met the joy giver Look who's laughing now Look who's laughing now Look who's come around Look who's got the big grin Look who's wearing the frown I still hear the laughter It's still ringing now But the difference lies in the one Who's laughing now Satan at the keys Punching in destruction Pain and misery Then a light shined through my darkness Oh, and the master brought me out And I was reprogrammed by the blood of the Lamb And look who's laughing now Look who's laughing now Look who's come around Look who's got the big grin Look who's wearing the frown I still hear the laughter It's still ringing now But the difference lies in the one Who's laughing now? Well, I'm not trying to tell you That my life is trouble free But if laughter's like a medicine I'm as healthy as can be Amen and amen. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow is our uh, Down South uh, Gospel Show, and we do uh, Southern Rock, uh, Country, Bluegrass, Southern uh, Traditional Gospel. And here's what I'd like for you to do. If you're, you've enjoyed our show so far, and uh, you keep coming back and listening, what I want you to do is invite one other person to listen with you tomorrow. Invite one extra person. Let's, uh, let's keep spreading the word of Jesus and uh, the love of, um, that's uh, spread through all this music that uh, we play each night. And uh, with that, I'd like to go ahead and uh, invite y'all to uh, send me your, uh, your ideas on what you'd like to hear more of and what you'd like to see more of out of the WBUR. Um, remember, this is God's radio. Uh, I'm just the DJ. Well, let's get ready. We're fixing to do uh, the Bible Biker Hour, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, and it's his uh, word for the night is destruction of the wicked. So enjoy the word of God. And welcome to The Bible Biker. Your host today is none other than Pastor Tom Hughes. He is a biker who teaches God's Word. Today, we're going to use the Bible as our textbook, our only rule of faith and practice. And now sit back and relax as we share some of our Celtic Christian music with you today. Jesus came through that door 
my blues all went away, Jesus. He took the blue out of my blue. Now there's rejoicing every day since Jesus came my way. He took the blue out of my blue. the blue out of my blue Now instead of crying Feeling sorry for myself each day When dark clouds roll around me I get down on my knees and pray Jesus He took the blue out of my blue Now there's rejoicing every day Since Jesus came my way He took the blue out of my blue My despair just went away With Jesus in your heart Those blues, they just can't stay Jesus took the blue out of my blues. Well, today is program number 22, The Destruction of the Wicked. And let me tell you, if you are lost and are destroyed in hell, you will be singing the blues because you will be lost for all eternity. And that is one of the things we want to prevent at the Bible Biker. We don't want to see anybody go to hell because they weren't warned about the wonderful gift of Jesus Christ and his righteousness that can save you from being destroyed in the fires of hell. We're going to begin our study today with Jeremiah 31, verse 3. God's character is a character of love. 
The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. So God is a God of love, and as a biker driving down the road, I've often seen accidents and people getting in trouble, people getting hit, and several of my best friends have had accidents, and it's difficult when you're going down the road and somebody hits you and you have an accident. And people oftentimes will say, why do you do such a dangerous thing? Ride a motorcycle. It's dangerous. And I always say, well, if I have to explain it to you, you wouldn't understand. You know, salvation is a lot like that. If I have to explain it to you, you wouldn't understand. Jesus is someone who has to be experienced. You can't just teach somebody about Jesus and have them get it. You have to actually experience him for yourself. Now, some people think that they're too bad to be saved. And that's one of the lies the devil loves to say. You're too bad to be saved. You're too terrible a person for God to save you. And that is a total lie. In 2 Peter 3, verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So God is not willing that any should perish. It's not God's will that you perish. God doesn't think that you're so bad you can't be saved. That's a lie of the devil. God says he wants all to come to repentance. And that little word A-L-L means you, my brother. That means you, my sister. God wants you to repent of your sins and not to perish. He doesn't want anyone to go to hell. Now in Hebrews 12, 29, it says, Our God is a consuming fire. So to sinfulness, wherever found, God is a consuming fire. You see, God cannot be in the presence of sin and have sin exist because God is a consuming fire. When Jesus comes a second time, it says in Thessalonians, the wicked are destroyed by the brightness of his coming. His glory is almost like a laser beam to sinners. It causes a burning fire and That's why they cry out for the rocks in the mountains to hide them from the face of him who sits upon the throne. Now in Malachi 4, 1 to 3, it says, Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and yea, the proud, all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. So this tells us in Malachi 4 that sinners will ultimately be burned up or turned into ashes. Now, a lot of people find this surprising, people like me who have been raised in churches that have taught an eternally burning hell, where people are kept alive in hell simply to be tortured uh, for as long as time shall last. I was startled to come to the realization that the wicked are destroyed and not kept around for all eternity to be tortured. Now, the Bible teaches that the wicked are going to be ashes under the soles of the feet of the righteous. And in Psalm 37, verse 10, it says, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. And then in verse 20 of Psalm 37, The wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They will consume into smoke, shall they consume away. Now, Psalm 37 teaches without a doubt that the wicked shall not be, that they will perish, and they will be burned up and consume away. They will turn into smoke, and that will be the end of them. In Psalm 37 and verse 36, the Bible says, Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. 
So the Bible makes it clear that the wicked are going to pass away, and you will not be able to find the wicked because they will not be in hell, being burned forever, but they will be destroyed. Hell is called the fire of destruction that destroys the old earth at the end of the world. And it says after those fires have been put out and the new heavens and new earth are created, that you will not be able to find the wicked. And as a matter of fact, it says, I sought him, but he could not be found. In Matthew 25, 46, it says, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous to life eternal. The punishment will be everlasting. Note the text does not say everlasting punishing. It is a single punishment whose effect lasts forever. They're going to be punished once, burned up and destroyed, but the righteous have eternal life. You see, the Bible says the wages of sin is death, and that the wicked perish, and that they shall not be. It doesn't say in the Bible that the wicked are going to live for all eternity being tortured by God. Have you ever wondered what kind of a God it would be who would take his children and torture them for all eternity? That's not a very good picture of God, is it? Well, I'm thankful that the Bible doesn't present a God like that. In Jude chapter, well, there's only one chapter in Jude, so we might as well just say Jude verse 7. It says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities like them in like manner, or the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Sodom and Gomorrah are examples of everlasting punishment and eternal fire. These cities lie in ruins today, underneath a portion of the Dead Sea, and they are not still burning today, yet they suffered the vengeance of eternal fire. In 2 Peter 2.6, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So the city of Sodom and Gomorrah have been destroyed by eternal fire. They've been turned into ashes, but they're still not burning today. And hellfire will do the exact same thing. In Matthew 3:11 and 12, it says, I indeed baptize you with water under repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. The fire cannot be quenched or put out, until it completes its work of totally eradicating sin from the universe. Now, in Jeremiah 17, 19 to 27, Jerusalem was destroyed by an unquenchable fire which human hands could not put out. It completed its work of totally destroying Jerusalem. Yet Jerusalem is not burning today. Thus said the Lord unto me, Go and stand in the gate of the children of the people whereby the kings of Judah come in, and by the which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem, and say unto them, Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Take heed to yourself, and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day, neither do any work, but hallow ye the Sabbath day, as I commanded your fathers. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. And it came to pass, If ye diligently hearken unto me, saith the Lord, to bring in no burden through the gates of the city on the Sabbath day, but hallow the Sabbath day, and do no work therein, then shall there be into the gates of this city, kings and princes sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, they and their princes, and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And this city shall remain forever, and they shall come from the cities of Judah and from the places about Jerusalem, and from the land of Benjamin, and from the plain, and from the mountains, and from the south, 
bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices and meat offerings and incense and bringing sacrifices of praise unto the house of the Lord. But if ye will not hearken unto me to hallow my Sabbath day and not to bear a burden, even entering in at the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then will I kindle a fire in the gates thereof, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem, and it shall not be quenched. You see, God instructed the children of Israel to honor his commandments, and if they rejected them, that he would someday punish them for their sinfulness. And Jerusalem was stiff-necked, and the city was destroyed. And the Bible says that it would be burned by a fire that would not be quenched. Some people mistakenly try to say that that means that uh, when God destroys the earth at the end of the world, that it will just keep burning for all eternity. But that's not what it means. It simply means until the fire burns up everything that there is to burn up. And then it will go out because there will be nothing left to burn. In Revelation 20, verse 10, it says, The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. So the wicked shall be destroyed forever. Forever doesn't always mean endless existence, but is literally translated until the end of the age. In Exodus 21, verse 6, the Bible said, A slave shall serve his master forever. But what it meant was, as long as the man should live. In 1 Samuel 1, 22 and 28, Hannah presented Samuel before the Lord forever, or for as long as he should live. Hannah went up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child is weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide forever. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord, as long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. Often in the Bible, when the word forever is used, it means as long as the person lives. Now in 2 Peter 2, verse 4, it says, If God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. The evil angels and all the wicked are reserved unto judgment. Hell is not burning right now. You can't go anywhere and look at hell. The evil angels are still alive and well, and they're causing all sorts of chaos and trouble in the world. And the Bible says, though, that they are reserved in chains of darkness unto judgment. So one day, soon, God will judge them, and Sheol, or the grave, will give up all those who are wicked, who are lost, and every human being who is lost shall be cast into hell fire. On Revelation 20, verse 9, there's a very interesting text on this subject. It says, And they went up on the breath of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. Now notice that it says that every evil human being that is lost is going to be resurrected in the second resurrection and there are going to be so many of them that they're going to compass or compass the breadth of the earth that means they're going to cover the entire earth with people lost people and they're going to surround God's city the new Jerusalem and they're going to try to take the city because they think their great number somehow gives them an advantage And I've always found it fascinating that the Bible doesn't say all these wicked people drop down into hell. It says that hell drops down on them. The Bible says fire comes down from God out of heaven. So hell fire drops down on the wicked and covers the entire planet and burns up the wicked. And it says that it devours them. Now, I don't know about you. I will occasionally eat a homemade chocolate chip cookie. And I guarantee you when I devour it, you won't even find a crumb left. And that's what the Bible says God does with fire. And it comes from God. God is the one who lights the fire of hell. No one else. God personally takes charge of hell fire. 
Satan is not in charge of it. The devil is not in charge of who is lost. He's not in charge of how long people will be punished. And he certainly is not running hell. So all these little cartoons and stories about the devil being in charge of hell are all a lie. The Bible states very clearly that fire comes down from God out of heaven in Revelation 20, verse 9, and it burns up those who are lost. The entire earth is consumed and turned into ashes. As a matter of fact, in Ezekiel 28, 17 and 18, writing about Lucifer, the Bible describes how God is going to turn Lucifer himself, Satan himself, into ashes. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. He was a proud fellow, wasn't he? I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities. By the iniquity of thy traffic, therefore, will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. It shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. So notice once again, the fire does not come from anywhere else but God. Satan doesn't drop down into hell. It says very clearly here that God brings hell forth from him, that God kindles a fire in the middle of Satan, in the midst of him, that burns him up and turns him into ashes. Satan is destroyed by a divine fire that God himself initiates that will burn him up and turn him into ashes. Now, all of his uh, evil angel friends are going to be burned up the same exact way. All the evil angels, all the wicked who are lost, and Satan himself will all be burned up and turned into stubble. And that's exactly what the Bible says in Isaiah 47, 14. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before it. The fire will burn itself out. And there will not even be a coal to warm at. So this fire will burn and it will keep burning unquenchably until it burns up everything there is. And then it will burn itself out. In Obadiah 16, it says, For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathens drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. So the wicked are going to be as if they'd never existed. In Second Peter three twelve and 13, it says, Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So the old world shall be dissolved, sin and sinners shall be dissolved, and God shall create a new heavens and a new earth, and he will wipe away the tears from our eyes. You see, many of us will shed many, many tears because many of the people who are lost are going to be our relatives, our family, and our friends. That's why God gives us a thousand years in heaven to get used to the idea before the wicked are resurrected and destroyed. But God mercifully puts them out of their misery. They are destroyed completely, burned up with the old earth, and a new heavens and new earth are created. And God comes down with the new Jerusalem and makes his kingdom with us and among us and he dwells with us forever in righteousness. No more carnal nature, no more evil uh, warring against God's nature within us. Our spiritual natures will not have to contend with a carnal nature ever again, and we will live righteous and holy lives in heaven with God for all eternity. Father in heaven, please help us to choose Jesus to choose eternal life, to accept him as our personal Savior so we can go home with you and dwell with you forever in righteousness, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 
If you are enjoying the Bible Biker, you will be glad.
not afraid A bit of work of Not afraid to close my eyes and die For it's scary I have prayed In His arms I'm not afraid Amen, amen. In his arms, I'm not afraid. Ain't that the truth? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right, this will be our last song, and it's Glory Bound Travelers, and a very appropriate song for that, the altar call song. You came to church this morning Like you've done so many times before you're hoping you don't get that feeling You had the Sunday before Your heart is probably pounding And you don't want to give in The Holy Ghost is now moving And He is calling you in Just step out and walk on down and let it all go. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins and save your soul. You may never get another Sunday. Today just might be the end. Come on home, Jesus is waiting. He is calling you in Oh, I love the man called Jesus That bled and died on the cross He hung there for your sins and to save the ones that was lost he is the beginning and i know he's the end you never find no other dear friend just slip out and walk let it all go Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins And save your soul You may never get another Sunday Today just might be the end Come on home, Jesus is waiting And He is calling you in Come on home, Jesus is waiting And He is calling you home well, All right, this is Chapman Doc And I appreciate y'all coming out and visiting with us And uh, enjoying the music And I hope that you'll uh, tell all your friends about us Your family Come on back and enjoy some more great music, great service with us. And if you're a musician out there and you'd like to get your music played, that's awful easy. Just tra- drop one of your uh, CDs or all your CDs or whatever uh, in the mailbox to WBUR Christian Radio. And that's 3466 North Watkins. That's W-A-T-K-I-N-S, Memphis, Tennessee, 38127. And in full armor, I will always remain in his service. Peace. I'm out of here.